welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is on this little mini right here. She turned out so stinking cute. I just love it. So if you're curious about these little minis, we do have these, just the stainless with the handle. They do come with the lid and straw. So I will have them linked below, but they're just the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. Yes, they are very unnecessary, but also very necessary at the same time, if you know what I mean. But who doesn't want just a mini cup? These are cute for kids. These are cute for birthdays, events, uh, stocking stuffers. Just, they're just so fun. And you get to decorate them yourself if you would like to. You could just leave them stainless if you want. We do have a couple colored options as well as a glass one. I just think the customizing and the color and the glitter is so much fun. So I did use some shape tape on here for the little rainbow and uh, some vinyl on the back. So I got a lot of techniques going on here, a lot of different products. I'll have everything linked below. Let's get into the tutorial. We are starting off this look with one of our mini tumblers from Bear Tumblers. It's so cute. Look at the little box. I love these so much. I just can't get over how cute they are. So they come in a little box with a little plastic. You get a lid and a straw. So of course take off the lid. Then we're going to prep with Mattify. Then we have these adapters. We have them both for the curved minis and the straight minis. Um, but they're made out of foam and we cut them perfectly to fit. So the first time you put them on, you really got to shove it on there. But these give you a perfect, tight, secure fit. So you don't have to worry about your mini tumbler sliding off. So then we're going to use our Tack Time Trio, which is our Tack Time adhesive, the brush, and then the brush cleaner. So we're doing as thin of a layer as we can on this little tumbler. The curves in the handle definitely make it harder to maneuver around this little cup, but I think I did a pretty good job. You just, you really wanna get as thin of a layer as you can. And I didn't do the handles in this process. I left the handles blank. So after that process, we're gonna take a little bit of the clean time cleaner, put it in a little cup. You're gonna wipe off the excess glue first, just so we don't have more glue on there. Then you're gonna dip it into the cleaner and rub it back and forth on the paper towel two or three times. Just do this process very gently. We're just trying to get the most of the glue out that we can. Once your cup is looking clear, then you're gonna go ahead with your mica powder. This is jade mica powder, such a pretty like pearly mint kind of green shade. And using a fluffy brush, we're just gonna buff it in. So the tack time is super tacky at this point. We are just adding any color of mica powder. You'll see it gives it like a pearlescent finish. This is really cool to do with chameleon micas or just any mica powder, really. Um, I'm always surprised at the different colors, what they really look like. On the cup, you can prep your cup a different color first. Um, if you use just the silver, it gives more of like a pearly finish, if that makes sense. But you're, we're just buffing it in all over the whole cup. Back to you. 
So that's what it was looking like done. You definitely need to seal this with some clear matte spray paint. Then I'm going in with Artistry Art and Tumblr Formula. It is the best. You just have to be careful to get all over this cup, all in the nooks and crannies, and not put too much on since it is such a small cup. So after that layer, I cut out some shape tape with this little rainbow that I found. I will put in the description the settings that I did, but I could have done, if this rainbow was a full rainbow, it didn't have the line straight at the bottom, so I had to cut that off. We just gotta speak louder, I'll try to make amends for the damage control. So I cut out the edges of the rainbow and the center. Then I peeled the backing off just very gently because when you're doing this with multiple colors of glitter, you can't use transfer tape or else all your transfer or all your top layer will come off with the transfer tape and then you can't get different colors of glitter on there. This process works with something that is more like a solid shape, if that makes sense. Um, so you can peel the backing off and you put it on more like a sticker. So taking our glitter, the first one is Saddle. It's a dark brown. And I wanted all of the little tiny outlines to be the dark brown. So just peeling those off with a needle pen. And you can see the shape tape, you can cut tiny little intricate stuff and it still works. Um, it is very hard to do. It's very intricate and you just have to really be patient and get in there, but it works really well. So you're going to put your glitter on, rub it in, and then take a brush to brush off the excess. Next, we're going in with Jetty. It's a more bronzy gold. Then Gold Fever, more of a neutral gold. Then White Sands, a more pale beige gold. Then I have some greens. This is Oasis. But you can do whatever colors you wanted. I just wanted to keep it neutral and green. And Odyssey is more of a dark green. And that is our rainbow. It's so cute. I cut out some vinyl on the other side. It just says happiness blooms within. I got this little design off of Etsy. So I did some gold vinyl and then an offset in like a light mint color. So then just weeding out the inside. And I tried transfer tape, it did not work with the metallic vinyl, so then I used just some packing tape and it was a struggle, but I got it done. So stacking that on the green. And then placing on the cup. I wish I would have done this a little bit smaller just because it was a little difficult to put on all in one piece because the cup is slightly angled. I did seal the rainbow with some clear spray paint and then did two more layers of epoxy. Put on the lid and the straw and she's all done. I think she turned out so stinging cute. 
I just love these little glitter designs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. It's silent now, we don't say a word. We're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said. Yeah, it kind of broke my heart.